Hello everyone, Ardrum Harris here from DVDScopy.com. What I have right here before you is probably one of the nicest programs uh, that I've used and it's the uh, AVS Video Converter and this is version 8.2. Uh, this is very nice. You really have to take a look at this program. Uh, it can do everything. It's the ultimate. Now, there's another program that I like also only because that's my preference and I'm used to it. It's very nice as well but uh, this one is really nice. Now, when you first uh, install the program, it's gonna come up um, like this. And uh, if you come up to the top here, you can get an idea of what it can do. Now, you have one, two, we have three uh, tabs up here. And right now, the formats tab is selected. So what is that telling us? It's telling us that it can convert uh, DVDs. Uh, we're talking record DVDs or Blu-ray. DVDs to uh, AVI format, to another DVD format, to MP4. And notice that when I click on MP4, it put the extension down here automatically for me. It can convert to MPEG, to WMV, to FLV. The, <clears throat> I'm sorry, FLV. FLV, these are your um, flash video files, and these are the types that you usually upload to YouTube. It can convert uh, these video files and burn them to Blu-ray discs. Uh, now if you click on the devices file, now you're entering a domain where you have uh, presets, where the software already has preset inf uh, information here for you. So let's say if you have an, an Apple uh, iPhone 4, well, it can convert a DVD or uh, any video file to uh, an iPhone 4 format so it will play back in an iPhone, DVDs or video files to Android, Blackberry devices, Sony devices, your game consoles uh, such as PSP, uh, PS3, uh, Wii, Xbox, and other players, mobile phones. Uh, now you have a web tab here if you click on that it also shows that you can convert DVDs and video files to formats that can be uploaded to YouTube, Vimo, Facebook, Dailymotion, Flickr, Dropbox. Now, if I click on the Advanced tab down here, it pulls down another window. Now, let's go to Settings. Let me show you something in here. All right. Now, if I come over to where it says formats what you can do here up here is showing the items that appear in the main toolbar that we just looked at but look at down here you have other formats that I, you didn't see a few moments ago let's say if I wanted the uh, quick time to movie icon to appear in the main toolbar I select that click the up arrow then click OK and there it is you see so it's a really sweet program. Let's go back into that settings area, something else I want to show you. Now that was for the formats. If I click on devices, see there are other devices down here that did not appear in that main toolbar, such as the Zen Creative and the Palm devices. Same thing for the web. Well, no, all the webs are selected. Okay, but this, gives, this just gives you an idea as to there are other devices that you can add to the main menu. So do not think that you're limited to what you see here when you first uh, load the program up. AVS Video Converter also has some pretty cool editing features. Click on the edit icon, brings up another window, and in here you can create all various edit uh, video effects for uh, your videos. You can increase the or decrease the brightness, the contrast, the auto brightness, the hue, uh, and as you can see here, they're all self-explanatory. You can add these special effects in here. And you can also preview them before you actually, you know, finalize the burning. Okay, very, very nice. And let's exit out of that. So that's your editing area. If we click on the menu section or icon, we go into the area where you have disk menu styles. And what this basically is, is like, uh, if you convert a DVD or video file to some other format and you want to place a menu in front of it, well, you can come here and do that. This here is giving you a preview as to what that menu is going to look like. Um, and you can come in here and you can edit the, uh, the effects. 
you have audio effects that you can edit. Uh, you can add your own text here. And again, you just pick what you want. Uh, if you want to change this, you double click on what you want. And it shows up over here. So it's very nice. All right, but that's your uh, video effects section. Now, let's take a look at what's down here. Uh, down here, once you uh, import into the program a video or DVD, it's going to play some information in here. And this is all informational stuff for you. All right, so let's go ahead and do something here with this program. Now, since I have uh, an iPhone 4, I'm going to convert uh, a DVD movie to a format that will play in my iPhone 4. So I'm going to click Devices and click the Apple icon there. That's the preset. I'm going to select the DVD. So I'll click on File, Add DVD or Blu-ray Video. Select that. Navigate to the location where I know I have DVD disc installed in my PC. And I have a Blu-ray one here uh, in my F drive, Terminator 2, and I have one Batman Begins in my E drive. I'll select uh, Batman Begins and click OK. And at this point, uh, AVS Video Converter will scan the DVD and import all the information inside this uh, user interface. It will take a few moments. Okay, and here it is. It's asking me to select tracks. Now, automatically and by default, AVS Video Converter will select the movie for you. And you know that because if you look at the uh, time durations of these tracks, the longest one is 2 hours and 20 minutes. That's your movie. Now, all these other things on here, tracks 2 through 9, these are the extras extra stuff that appears on the, the DVD so you might not want that so I don't want any of that I just want the movie so I'll select uh, OK now over here we see that we have an input file section here and it's showing me I have this to video or rather the movie component of that uh, DVD disc that's going to be copied I've selected the uh, English the audio English file and uh, I don't want French just English and this is the sample rate. The sample rate basically dictates the quality. Sub picture, these are your subtitles and the subtitles are already encoded on the DVD from the manufacturer. Uh, this particular DVD, Batman Begins, has the English and French and Spanish subtitles on there. I don't want any subtitles so you know, if you want them this is where you would choose to add them. Uh, over to the right, this is showing what I'm getting as an output as a result of the DVD to video conversion. I'm getting an MPEG-4 file. It's a, a DivX uh, Exhibit file. The, uh, it gives me the frame size, which is a uh, 320 by 240, and that's standard for uh, your iPod devices. And uh, it's telling me what the audio quality is going to be like. The bit rate will be 96 kilobits per second. That's pretty pretty clear. That's, that's going to be a crisp sound and stereo. Now you can change these. You know, you might want your bit rate to be higher. Uh, 128 kilobits per second is CD quality. I typically leave them at the default settings. I don't like to change anything because I find that most folks can't tell the difference between a audio file that's uh, 96 kilobits per second versus one that's 128 kilobits per second. So uh, stuck in that is going to make a larger file size. So I'll leave it at that. But we do have an advanced tab here. Let's click on that so you know what that is. So once we click on that, uh, it lets you come in here and you can basically manipulate a lot of the uh, video and audio stuff that we saw on the outside here. And again, you can play with around these slide bars here. Uh, my recommendation is uh, AVS Video Converter is very smart. Leave the default settings. You'll be just fine. Okay, now once you've done that, then you click on the Convert Now button and AVS Video Converter will uh, convert that DVD to a format that I can upload to my iPod and play it back on the iPod. Down below here, uh, you're shown a preview window that lets you watch the uh, conversion in uh, progress. Now, it's not going to be smooth, so don't expect, don't think something's wrong here. It's just showing you various clips as it goes along so it gives you that warm and fuzzy that everything is fine okay now 
down at the very bottom it's showing the overall progress and we're at uh, less than 0.1 percent and uh, it shows the time elapsed and pretty soon what's going to kick in here is the remaining time and it will give you an indication as to how long it's going to take for this DVD to be converted into a uh, format suitable to be uploaded to an iPod device. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this entire process because this is an instructional and uh, review video, but you can do the same thing with uh, video files and that's what I want to talk about next. I want to show you how you can use a program to take any video file that you have, whether it comes from your camcorder, your digital cameras, the video files that you upload, rather that you download from uh, YouTube, and you can convert those to any of these uh, formats or devices that you see up here. The same thing for the DVDs, except this time we're operating with video files. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm back and in this section I'm going to show you how to take a video file and use this program to convert it to anything that you want, whether it's to another uh, video format or a, to a device that you want it to play back in or to a web property such as YouTube, Vimeo, or Facebook. Okay, so I have a video file here, a sample one, and it's from the movie Rush Hour 2 with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. So I've take, taken that file and I dragged it into this section right here and uh, you can see it right here. Rush Hour 2 and it's a .wmv file. That can be anything. It can be an AVI file. Any kind of file you have that's a video file you can drag into this program it's going to convert it. So now what you want to do is you want to treat this the same way that you did with the DVD section that I just showed you. So you just choose what you want to do. You want to convert that to a movie file, then there you go. You see, it shows the output file. It's going to be a .movie, .avi, .avi, to uh, MP4, MP4. Uh, let's say to another device. If I want to convert this to play back in my Apple iPod, then there it is. You see, it's already preset it. W dot WMV to a uh, dot MP4 to an Android same thing um, so it's the same thing that you saw earlier with the DVDs conversion except you're operating with uh, the video file so let's do something different here let's uh, in the DVD section I convert that DVD movie Batman Begins into uh, iPod with my iPhone 4 device I'm going to try something different here. Let's do something for the web. Uh, let's say I want this here to be uh, uploaded to YouTube. So I will select YouTube and it's automatically selected uh, an output file name here. It's going to be a .avi file, which will look very nice on YouTube. If I want it to be a Facebook, same thing. See, video for Facebook. I'll go YouTube. All right. So once you've done that, same thing down here. It's, it's a video file, but it's telling you what you're going to get on the output, a bit rate of a, a 2000, and you can change that, and I keep it at the default settings, 2000. Uh, your audio quality is going to be, uh, format is going to be MP3. Your bit rate is 128 kilobits per second. You can make that higher if you want, but the default settings are just fine. And you do have uh, an advanced button here. You click on that. And uh, again, I typically leave these at the default settings. If you move this bar to the right, what you're getting, you're getting a larger, uh, you're getting better video quality and audio quality, but you're also getting larger file size. And uh, AVS, Video Converter, is very smart. It's a very intelligent program, and it has already selected for you um, a middle of the road optimal setting that will look nice without sacrificing any of your video and audio quality. So again, I recommend leaving these at their default settings. Click on that. We come up here to where it says um, edit. It's like in DVDs. You can also add some pretty cool video effects to that file. Now when it comes to the video file conversions, uh, the menu box is grayed out. You're, you're not able to uh, put menus in front of those video files like you saw with the DVDs. Okay, so right now we're going to be converting uh, a .wmv file of Rush Hour to a format that I can upload to 
uh, YouTube. So once I have done that, made all my selections, then I'll click Convert Now. And the preview will kick in here in a few moments. There it is. An ABS video converter is converting that uh, .wmv file to a .avi file, and I can take that file and upload it to YouTube, and it will look just great. Now keep in mind too that your outputted files are only as good as what you put into them. So if you have a crappy looking uh, video file, don't expect this program to like make it look better. You know, if you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage out. So if your input file uh, is a decent file, then uh, AVS Video Converter is going to convert that to another format where it's going to look uh, just as good as the original. Okay, once again, I'm, it's showing you uh, previews of the conversion process. Uh, at the bottom, it's giving us time uh, elapsed, time remaining, another minute and 30 seconds or so, and uh, an overall progress in percentage. I'm not going to go through the entire thing here, sort of once again, I think you know what's going to happen. Once you, you're finished uh, with the conversion here, you should be able to go to your output file location here, and inside that folder, you have your converted file. You can double click on it and play it uh, in a software video player, see what it looks like, what it sounds like, and then you can upload it to YouTube. All right, so that's basically it for this program. Uh, again, this is a very nice program, uh, AVS Video Converter. Uh, you can purchase it and hey, it works. You don't. You can sleep easy at night. You don't have to worry about it. It's gonna work. Um, ask for a refund what's that the program works so again I put nothing on my website that does not work you know there's reputation there so this is our Jerome Harris at dvdscopy.com thank you for listening